Halva, Halawa, Alva, Holloway, Halava, Helava, Helva, Halwa, Halua, Aluva, Chalva, Shalwa is any of various dense, sweet confections with roots in the West Asia, Central Asia, and India. It is also served in the Caucasus, North Africa, the Horn of Africa, the Balkans, Eastern and Western Europe, Malta and in the Jewish diaspora. In some Indian cultures, the dish is known as a soup-based sweet. Identical sweets exist in other countries, such as China, though these are not generally referred to as halva. The first known written halva recipe appeared in the early 13th century Arabic Kitab al Tabak, the Book of Dishes. In global, popular usage, it means desserts or sweet and describes two types of desserts flour based. This type of halva is slightly gelatinous and made from grain flour, typically semolina suji India. Its primary ingredients are clarified butter, ghee, flour, and sugar. Nut butter based This type of halva is crumbly and usually made from tahini, sesame paste, or other nut butters, such as sunflower seed butter. Its primary ingredients are nut butter and sugar. Halva may also be based on various other ingredients, including beans, lentils, and vegetables such as carrots, pumpkins, yams, and squashes. Halva can be kept at room temperature with little risk of spoilage. However, during hot summer months, it is better kept refrigerated, as it can turn runny after several days. Etymology the word halva entered the English language between 1840 and 1850 from the Yiddish halva, Hebrew, halal, which came from the Turkish halva, halwa itself ultimately derived from the Arabic, halwa halwa, a sweet confection. The Arabic root halo hel means sweet. Types Most types of halva are relatively dense confections sweetened with sugar or honey. Their textures, however, vary. For example, semolina-based halva is gelatinous and translucent, while sesame-based halva is drier and more crumbly. Flour-based This type of halva is made by frying flour, such as semolina, in oil, mixing it into a roux, and then cooking it with a sugary syrup. This variety is popular in India, Greece, Armenia, Iran, Azerbaijan, Turkey, Somalia, Pakistan, and Afghanistan. Semolina This variety of halva is produced and served in India, Afghanistan, Nepal, Pakistan, and surrounding countries. Different versions of it are also found in Albania, Azerbaijan, Bangladesh, Bulgaria, Cyprus, Greece, Montenegro, Macedonia, and Turkey. It is usually made with wheat semolina, sugar or honey, and butter or vegetable oil. Raisins, dates, other dried fruits, or nuts such as almonds or walnuts are often added to semolina halva. The halva is very sweet, with a gelatinous texture similar to polenta, the added butter gives it a rich mouthfeel. The standard proportions of semolina halva are, one part fat, a vegetable oil or butter, two parts semolina, two parts sweetening agent e.g. sugar or honey, and four parts water. The semolina is sautéed in the fat, while a syrup is made from the sweetener and water. Then the two are mixed carefully while hot, and any extra ingredients are added. At this point, the halva is off-white to light beige, and rather soft. Depending on recipe and taste, it can be cooked a bit further, which makes it darker and firmer, or left to set as is. In India, halva is prepared in different forms. The recipes use flour, melted butter or ghee, sugar and optionally acacia gum, gum Arabic, also known as dinka or gund or katira gund or gond or kamarka. It comes in various colors like orange, brown, green and white, in a translucent appearance studded with raisins, cashew nuts, pistachios, almonds, etc. Technically the term halva is used in native recipes throughout India, and though semolina halva is considered to be a quintessential northern Confection, it is also quite popular in South India. A prominent South Indian version of halva or alva in Tamil is from Tirunelveli, a city in the state of Tamil Nadu. Another semolina preparation widely enjoyed throughout South India called kesari or kesari bath originates from the state of Karnataka. 
Alternative vegetable-based halva recipes popular in India and Pakistan use beetroots, potatoes, yams, and most commonly carrots for gajar halwa, mung beans for mung dal halwa, or bottle gourds for duty halwa instead of semolina. Prepared with condensed milk and ghee, without semolina to bind it together, the end result has a moist, yet flaky, texture when freshly prepared. Other examples include the famous Agra Petha easily available at Taj Mahal, Agra. Cornstarch Cornstarch gelatinous halva is popular in Greece and Somalia and has many variations. The farsala recipe is the most well known. It is quite sweet, with caramel-like syrup. Rice flour This rice flour and coconut milk halva is common fare on the streets of Zanzibar. Nut butter based this type of halva is made by grinding oily seeds, such as sesame or sunflower seeds, to a paste, and then mixing with hot sugar syrup cooked to hard crack stage. This type is popular in Eastern Arab nations, the Mediterranean, and in Balkan regions and countries. Some include Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croatia, Romania, Serbia, Macedonia, Montenegro, Bulgaria, Russia, Greece and Bangladesh, Cyprus, Egypt, Iraq, Iran, the Levant, Albania, Central Asia, Southern India, the Caucasus region, and Turkey. It is also popular in Algeria and on the central Mediterranean islands of Malta. Sesame Sesame halva is popular in the Balkans, Poland, Middle East, and other areas surrounding the Mediterranean Sea. The primary ingredients in this confection are sesame butter or paste, tahini, and sugar, glucose or honey. Soapwort called erq al holloway in Arabic, coven in Turkish, egg white, or marshmallow root are added in some recipes to stabilize the oils in the mixture or create a distinctive texture for the resulting confection. A version of sesame halva, called sesame crumble candy, ji ma su tang in China uses ground sesame and sugar, cooked to the hard ball stage because it is made crispier than other halvas. Other ingredients and flavorings, such as pistachio nuts, cocoa powder, orange juice, vanilla, or chocolate are often added to the basic tahini and sugar base. Sunflower Sunflower halva is popular in countries in Eastern Europe, including Belarus, Bulgaria, Romania, Moldova, Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia, Russia, and Ukraine as well as other former USSR countries. It is made of sunflower seeds instead of sesame. Other Floss halva Pismania Turkish, or floss halva is a traditional sweet, prepared in Kosaeli, Turkey, made by flossing thin strands of halva into a light confection. Made primarily of wheat flour and sugar, the strands are continuously wrapped into a ball shape and then compressed. The result is a halva with a light consistency, similar to cotton candy. Floss halva can be found in regular and pistachio flavors, and there are brands with halal or kosher certifications. A similar pistachio-based version of floss halva is popular in North India. It tends to be slightly denser and is often referred to as patisa or sohan papti. In Chinese cuisine, a floss-like candy similar to pismania or pashmak halva, known as dragon beard candy, is eaten as a snack or dessert. A raw version of halva also has become popular among proponents of raw food diets. In this version, a mixture of raw sesame tahini, raw almonds, raw agave nectar and salt are blended together and frozen to firm. Cultural use Halva is the most common modern English spelling and the transliteration from most Balkan languages. Other transliterations include Helwit Maltese, Zalwo, Somali, Halva, Hebrew, Halwa or Halwi, Arabic, Helva, Turkish, Shalwa, Polish, Halua, Bengali, and Halva, Hindustani. The word Halawa, Halat in Arabic means sweetness, while the word Halwa, Halwa means sweets or candy. The word Halva comes from the Arabic word Halwa, the root word is Halwa meaning sweet. Albania Halva, halve in Albanian, is usually eaten as a dessert-based meal, that is, with no entrees or appetizers consumed prior. 
The majority of halva in Albania is flour halva, although home-cooked semolina halva and shop-produced sesame halva are also consumed. Wheat flour is usually used, although corn flour halva is also common. Argentina Halva is available in Argentina, especially from confectionaires of Syrian Lebanese or Armenian origin. In the 1940s, a halva substitute named Manticol made with peanut butter was introduced by Rio Segundos Georgialos, a Greek immigrant family firm. It became a popular product. In 2001, the brand was sold to global firm Cadbury Schweppes, which altered the recipe. Georgialos now manufactures the original product under the name Nucrum. Both versions are available in candy stores and supermarkets. It is also popular with the Indians and Indo Caribbeans who brought their form of halva. Azerbaijan In Baku, halva is likely to refer to the Turkish style, tahini based version. The most famous regional variant is from Sheki, where ski halvasi halva refers to a layered baklava style pastry filled with spiced nut mix and topped by criss crossed patterns of a red syrup made from saffron, dried carrot, and beetroot. In Kabbala, it's possible to find sabalid halvasi, a form of soft halva made from sugar and chestnuts. Bahrain In Bahrain, the most popular form of halva is a jelly styled sweet, also known as halwa Bahraini in neighboring countries. And it is not like the halva that in most countries is based on sesame paste and in Kuwait called rehash. Bangladesh Various kinds of halua Bengali, haluya are prepared across Bangladesh. Some of the most common types of halua include semolina, shujir halua, chickpeas, buter halua, flour, atar halua, almond, bottomer halua, carrots, gahor halua, and papaya, pepper halua. Halua is usually eaten as a rich dessert, but it is not uncommon for Bangladeshis to eat it for breakfast with traditional breads. Bosnia and Herzegovina Halva is widely used in Bosnia and Herzegovina and is available in different forms and flavors. Brazil In Brazil, which is home to the largest Syrian Lebanese population outside the Middle East, plain and chocolate tahini halva can be found in cans in some supermarkets, while fancy varieties are sold in specialized food shops. Bulgaria in Bulgaria, the term halva, halva is used for several varieties of the dessert. Tahini halva, tahan halva is most popular and can be found in all food stores. Two different types of tahini halva are made, one using sunflower seed tahini and another using sesame seed tahini. Traditionally, the regions of Yablanitsa and Hiskovo are famous for their halva. Semolina halva, gri halva is made at home and can be found only in some pastry stores. White halva, bala halva which is made of sugar, is popular on the last Sunday before Lent Cerny Zagavezny, Cerny Zagavezny celebrated with customs, in one of which a string is tied to a piece of white halva and all the children, while standing in a circle must catch the turning piece of halva using only their mouths. Almost all types of halva in Bulgaria are flavored with essence of good King Henry. Croatia Halva is a sweet that is consumed in parts of Croatia. It is not uncommon to come across the specialty in the regions of Slavonia, Kordon, Lika and Baranja are regions that at one time came into contact with the Ottoman Empire. Halva is especially popular in Slavonia during Kervaj or local church fairs. Egypt and Saudi Arabia Halawa tahiniya, hala thinit ash l ash y t e he nej, or usually simply halawa is a popular confection in Egypt and Saudi Arabia that is relatively inexpensive. As of 2012, 1 kg pounds can be bought for about 20 Egyptian pounds in Egypt and 15 Saudi rials in Saudi Arabia. It is sesame based, and comes as plain, mixed with nuts, often pistachios, or mixed with chocolate. It can be enjoyed alone, or with baladi, lit. Rural, rustic, whole wheat round loaf or bread roll, and sometimes with the Arabic equivalent of clotted cream, kushd eshta et. Halawa is available as big blocks freshly cut according to weight, usually one quarter or half a kilogram, or pre-packaged in plastic containers or as snack bars. 
More recently, extra sweet halawa spread has been introduced. Less common is the fine, fibrous halawa shar, hair halawa, halat shur ash l ash y. Greece and Cyprus Halva in Greece and Cyprus, known as halvas, chalvas is very popular and made either from tahini or semolina. Tahini-based halva can be found in plain form, typically flavored with vanilla essence, or containing nuts, mainly almonds or peanuts. The term, tahini, is of Middle Eastern origin, but it is made with sesame, and a sesame plus honey sweet was made since the Minoan era. Cacao and honey-flavored halva also exists. Halva produced in northern Greece, known as Macedonian halva, Macedonikos chalvas is one of the best-known tahini-based varieties in Greece. Semolina-based halva is also a favorite, as is farsala halva, chalvas farsalon a caramelized variety made from cornflour that originated in the town of Farsala, south of Larissa. Halva is generally consumed all year round, but especially during Great Lent. India India has many types of halva, some unique to particular regions of the country. It is one of the popular sweets of India usually made from semolina. Halva, or halwa, was first introduced by the Persian and Arab invaders who brought the dish along with them hither. Various types of halva from India are distinguished by the region and the ingredients from which they are prepared. In northern India, the most famous include suji, or suji, halva, semolina, aate ka halva, wheat, mung dal ka halva, mung bean halva, gajar halva, carrot, which traditionally belongs to Punjab and is referred to as gajrela, duti halva, chana dal halwa, chickpeas, and satyanarayan halwa, variation of suji halwa, with the addition of detectable traces of banana, and kaju halva, cashew nut. Kashi halva, made from winter melon or ash gourd, is a famous and traditional sweet of Karnataka, and mainly makes a regular appearance in traditional Brahmin weddings. Suji halwa is sold in many eateries in Karnataka as kesari bath, usually alongside pineapple. In the Indian state of Kerala, halva is known as haluva or aluva. It is one of the most commonly found or easily recognized sweets in bakeries throughout Kerala. Kori code, anglicized as Calicut, in Kerala, is famous for its unique and exotic halluva, which is popularly known as Kajakotan halluva. Significant Arab and Middle Eastern influence in this region, through ancient trade routes via the Arabian Sea and through Arab traders who settled here, contributed to the evolution of Kajakotan halluva. Europeans used to call Kajakotan halluva, sweet meat. Due to its texture, a street in Calicut where Kajakotan halibas were sold was named Sweet Meat Street SM Street for short during colonial rule. The street still carries that name and is called Matai Thiruvu which is the Malayalam for Sweet Street. Kajakotan halluva is mostly made from maida, highly refined wheat, and comes in various flavors, such as banana, ghee, coconut, cashew, date, tender coconut, pineapple, jackfruit, etc. However, karutha halluva, black halluva, made from rice is also very popular. Pure wheat halluva is also available now in some shops. In the Indian state of Tamil Nadu, halva is known as halwa or alva. Tirunelveli, in Tamil Nadu, is famous for its unique and exotic halluva, which is popularly known as Tirunelveli halva. Significant for its taste, Tirunelveli alva is mostly made from wheat. The maker of halva is called a halwai. Halwa is eaten on special occasions and festivals, such as Ganesh Chaturthi, Diwali, and Holi. Iran Halva arda is the Iranian term for tahini-based halva, and may or may not include whole pistachios. Arda is processed sesame in the form of paste, usually sweetened with syrup. In Iran, halva halwa usually refers to a related confection made from wheat flour and butter and flavored with rose water. Recipe The final product has a dark brown color. The halva is spread thin on a plate till it dries into a paste. Halva usually is served at funerals and other formal ceremonies, often with almonds or coconut shavings on the top. One variation from the Caspian region of Gilan is called asali halva, honey halva, and mazandaran is called koshk halva. It is different from other types of halva prepared in Iran since it is based on rice flour rather than semolina, and is sweetened with honey instead of sugar. In Iran, halva is also eaten with lavash at breakfast. 
Iranian urbanites, especially in Tehran and Karaj, use melted chocolate and coffee to flavor the halva, which are black or dark brown in color, respectively. Confectionaries sell two-layered halva cut into diamond shapes and garnished with almond and pistachio slivers. These are often served in memorial services held in mosques or at the deceased person's grave. Israel Tahini halva, halal hive is very popular in Israel and among Jewish people all over the world. Spelled halva. In English, it usually comes in slabs or small packages, and is available in a wide variety of flavors, chocolate and vanilla being very common. The halva is almost always par. Israeli halva will usually not contain wheat flour or semolina, but will contain sesame tahini, glucose, sugar, vanilla and saponaria officinalis root extracts soapwort, which are not usually found in other recipes. It is often served as a breakfast component at Israeli hotels, though it is not usually part of an Israeli breakfast, and it is even used in specialty ice cream. Israel, Lebanon, Syria, Iraq, Jordan, and Palestine In the region of the Levant, which includes Israel, Lebanon, Syria, Iraq, Jordan, and Palestine, halawa Arabic, halat is typically the sesame or tahini-based form, which can be flavored in various ways, and may include pistachios, almonds or chocolate. A large quantity of halawa is exported from Lebanon and Palestine throughout the world. Throughout Lebanese and Palestinian villages, sesame presses may be seen. Libya and Tunisia. In Libya and Tunisia, it is called Halwa Shemaya, Arabic, Halwa Shemite or simply Shemaya, which means Levantine sweet, whereas the word Halawa is never used. Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia In the Baltic region it is found as a snack and sold packed in small pieces, 70 to 200 grams. Most popularly made from sunflower seeds or peanuts. Republic of Macedonia In Republic of Macedonia, Alba Macedonian, Alba Alba refers to a sweet which comes in a few varieties. Alba made from tahini, sesame or sunflower, ton alba is most used in Macedonia. Most popular is the alba from Nagotino and super alba from Skopje. Alba from semolina, alba odd grizz is made only at home. Izmirska halva, Izmirska alva brought back from Izmir Turkey, of which large areas are populated by Macedonians, is a chocolate type of alva made from flour, cocoa, sugar and peanuts. This alva is also made at home. Alva is also popular in the city of Prilep and surrounds, which have been famous for food production since pre-Ottoman times. Malta in Malta, the term Helwital Tork, Turk sweet, is used to refer to a tahini-based block confection sometimes containing pistachios or almonds. It forms part of the Maltese cuisine, and is a common sweet snack on the islands, especially served at the end of wedding celebrations and during feasts. Myanmar In Myanmar, it is called Halawa, and is associated with the port town of Pathine in the Ayurwadi region. Burmese halawa usually contains poppy seeds and is brown in color. It is popular as a gift item. Oman In Oman, halwa is a common delicacy served with Arabic coffee, very thin coffee, not like the Turkish version of it, at festivals and special occasions. Water, sugar, ghee, and cornflour form the foundation, while cardamom, rosewater, saffron, eggs, nuts and dates are added depending on the type of halwa that is being made. It is cooked in a big copper pot, called mir jnl, for a couple of hours, and the constant stirring it requires, makes it a labor-intensive process. Pakistan Halva in Pakistan is similar to that in India and Bangladesh, distinguished by the region and base ingredients. Most common are the ones made from semolina, ghee and sugar, garnished with dried fruits and nuts. Other types of halva replace semolina with certain vegetables carrots, pumpkin, and bottle gourds being the most popular, lentils particularly, chickpeas, or nuts almonds, walnuts. Different regions have come to be associated with distinctive variations of the traditional halva, e.g. Sohan halva from southern Punjab, and Karachi halva from Karachi, Sindh. 
In Urdu, the word halva halo denotes a certain family of sweets of Persian origin and South Asian flair, and a patissier specializing in such sweets is called a halvai halwe. Poland Halva Polish, shalwa, in Poland is sesame-based. It is not usually made at home, but it is sold under various brands in the form of large or small bars, as well as boxed hard mass. It is a popular treat among all ages of Polish people, considered a healthy alternative to other confectionery. Polish halva tends to be unflavored, the recipe relying heavily on sesame to give it its flavor. Romania and Moldova In Romania and Moldova, the term halva is used to refer to a sunflower-based block confection sometimes containing pistachios, almonds or chocolate. In the Republic of Moldova, it is mostly referred to as halva de rasarita, in Romania, it is known as halva de floria sorolui. Russia and Belarus Halva, halva came to Russia from Central Asia. Halva containing bars, cakes, or waffles with or without chocolate, nuts or seeds are now widespread. Halva made from sunflower seeds is the most commonly found variety, as sunflowers grow in plenty in the warmer region of South Russia of Serbia. Halva, generally is called alva, alva in Serbian, while semolina based is called sedina alva, sedin alva and sesame based is called tan alva, tan alva or tayan alva. Tayan. It is common to the whole region. Alva is a typical sweet in local church fairs around Serbia. Also, sesame based halva imported from Greece or the Republic of Macedonia is common in Serbian supermarkets. In Serbia of the 2000s, halva is losing its popularity to other types of sweets and candies and more and more is becoming something of a luxury. Somalia In Somalia, halva is known as zalwo halwo. A staple of Somali cuisine, it is a popular confection served during special occasions, such as Eid celebrations or wedding receptions. Zalwo is made from sugar, corn starch, cardamom powder, nutmeg powder and ghee. Peanuts are sometimes added to enhance texture and flavor. Sri Lanka Aluwa is a sweet made from rice flour or potato either with sugar sini aluwa, or treacle pani aluwa, and often with cashew nuts. It is served during the Sinhalese New Year festival each mid-April. Tajikistan and Uzbekistan Soft sesame halva is made from sugar syrup, egg whites, and sesame seeds. Solid sesame halva is made from pulled sugar, repeatedly stretched to give a white color. Prepared sesame is added to the warm sugar and formed on big trays. In Tajikistan, as well as in Uzbekistan, the local name is Lavz. Turkey the term helva is used by Turkish people to describe tahan, crushed sesame seeds, flour, or semolina halva, called tahan helvasi, unhelvasi, and ermik helvasi, respectively. Yaz helvasi is made of almond or walnut. Semolina halva, garnished with pine nuts, has a cultural significance in the melting pot of Turkish, Yazidi, and Kurdish tradition, and symbolizes the religious aspects of the progression to agriculture. Traditionally, halva prepared with flour, unhelvasi, is cooked and served upon the death of a person. In addition, some sweets and desserts are also called helva, such as pamuk helva or kaz helva, a sweet-like dessert which is widespread in Turkey. In Safranbolu, kaz helva is also called leaf halva. Assyrians also consume Turkish halva as a traditional dessert. Ukraine Ukrainian kalva halva is made from a paste of ground sunflower seeds and sunflower oil, laid out in a sheet and cut into brick form. It tends to be less sweet than other halvas. The sunflower is one of the symbols of Ukraine and sunflowers carry a very special meaning in Ukrainian culture, making this type of halva popular in the country. Standard flavors include vanilla, raisin and chocolate. United States Halva can be found in ethnic Indian, Jewish, Argentine, and Middle Eastern community stores. Besides being imported from the Middle East or India, or Mantical imported into Argentine stores, one can find the version manufactured in the U.S. by Joiva in Brooklyn. 
New York-based restaurant Alili run by Lebanese-American Philippe Massoud provides halva-based desserts. Greek Americans have also made this sweet popular, in Greek delis, supermarkets and homes. The crumbly peanut center of Reese's Peanut Butter Cups may be the closest thing to a uniquely American halva confection. Cultural references In Afghanistan, Turkey and Iran, after the burial ceremony, on the 7th and 40th day following the death of a Muslim, and also on the first anniversary, semolina helva or flower helva is cooked and offered to visitors and neighbors by relatives of the deceased. For this reason, flower un helva is also called in Turkish olu helvasi, meaning, helva of the dead. The expression roasting the helva of someone suggests the person referred to died some time ago. In episode 46 of the Turkish TV series Winter Sun, Kiss Gunisi, Ismail tells a joke. Why do we always eat halva after a meal of fish? So the fish knows it is dead and gone. The Greek saying anti re halva, anti re chalva, could be translated as get lost, you halva, is used when the speaker wants to offend someone, usually a man, by calling him a coward and or chubby. Another saying, dating from the period of Ottoman domination, states, Romaikos kavgas torkikos chalvas, roughly translated as, a fight among Greeks is halva to Turks. In Egypt, it is believed that halawa is a prized item within the incarcerated community, and is offered to inmates by visiting family members. This belief has often been portrayed in literature and media. This has led to the exploitation of this cultural phenomenon by a local halawa manufacturer in a recent advertising campaign, in Bosnia and Herzegovina, and also, to a lesser extent, Croatia, Slovenia, Styrian part of the country, and Serbia. The phrase, Id prodahe se kao halva or Styrian dialect of Slovene, Rico Alva, sells like halva, is a colloquial expression denoting a product's sales are very high, similar to the English expression, sells like hotcakes, or the German expression, verkauft sich wie warme Semmeln, sells like hot bread rolls. In regions of India where Hindi is a spoken language, halava hai kya? Halwa hai kya? Which literally translates to, Do you think it is halwa? is a snide rhetorical question used to indicate to another person that he or she is about to do or ask for something that's far less trivial than he or she possibly comprehends. Halwa puri kana? To eat puri with halwa is an idiom for a celebration of possibly modest means. Lay halwa is a Bengali interjection expressing exasperation or unpleasant surprise. In Pakistan, the term halva molvi is used to refer to religious people who are hypocritical and indulge in lavish lifestyles. Recurring references to halva have been made in Mad Magazine over the years. Alan Sherman's song, The Streets of Miami, a Jewish centered parody of The Streets of Laredo, contains the line, I shot and Sam crumbled, just like a piece halva. A minor planet, 518 Halawe, is named after Halva. See also References <references>